Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating for you how I make a solid lotion bar. These are also referred to as massage bars. Now, there's lots of great reasons to use solid lotion. Um, number one, they don't contain a preservative because they are water-free. So we don't use any water in solid lotion, no need to use a preservative. Um, the other thing is, is they contain lots of great ingredients like hard butters, um, beeswax or any type of other vegetable based wax like soy wax or candelilla wax. There's lots of different things you can do with them. They're very versatile, they're travel friendly, and they're super skin friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and weigh out my wax. I am using beeswax for this recipe. I just really like the way beeswax sets up in solid lotion. So we're going to go ahead and weigh out the beeswax. I'm going to put it in a larger um, glass container here. Okay. You want to go ahead and make sure too before you get started that you sanitize everything with bleach or 91% um, rubbing alcohol. Just make sure your surface area is very clean. So the next thing we're going to be doing is weighing out our liquid oil and in this case I'm going to be using sweet almond oil. Then we're going to be adding the sweet almond oil directly to our beeswax. So the beeswax in this recipe lends hardness to the bar so that you can, it's easy to ship, you can hold it in your hand, it's not gonna fall apart. Um, when you put it on your skin, they, when you put the solid lotion bars on your skin, they melt on contact with your skin, but they're not so super soft that they fall apart. So that's why we use beeswax, and beeswax is also nice for the skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave and I'm gonna put this on about 30 second burst until this is all the way melted down because we do not wanna get this mixture too hot. I'll bring you right back when it's all melted down. Okay, our beeswax and sweet almond oil is all melted down. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add our cocoa butter and our shea butter. Now the reason we add it to this melted mixture is because if you get the cocoa butter and the shea butter too hot, in the microwave or even on the stove top in a double boiler, you the shea butter and the cocoa butter can get very grainy and it kind of ruins the bar. So you wanna make sure you melt down this com these two components very slowly. So we're just gonna give this a stir and give it a few minutes to melt down. In liquid lotions, you do use a lot of these same components. You use shea butter, you can use cocoa butter. Um, the difference is there's a lot of water content in liquid lotions, which is great if you just want 
a light moisturizer, like sometimes for your hands or you know, you get out of the shower, you just want a light moisturizer. Liquid lotions are perfect. These are very emollient solid lotions and they have a very high content of uh, all those skin loving ingredients like shea butter, cocoa butter, beeswax. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this, keep going with the stirring and I will bring you back when it's all the way incorporated. Okay, this is all the way melted down. That did take quite some time and I did have to pop it back in the microwave because it was starting to set up at 20 second burst. Um, it's worth taking that extra step and going slow so you don't burn that shea butter um, or cocoa butter. So now that it's all melted down, we're gonna go ahead and add in the fragrance oil. And I have another ingredient here that I like to use in my solid lotions. Go ahead and show you. So I like to add in carrot powder. Carrot powder is super good for your skin. It's got lots of vitamin A and K, and it's just very skin loving. I like to put it through a mesh strainer because it, it does get a little bit clumpy, and this way I can kind of work the clumps out. There we go. Now this is gonna give a slight orange hue to your solid lotions. And then I also have my fragrance oil here, which I'm using Chocolate Orchid from Nature's Garden, which is a beautiful, luxurious smell. It smells like it's got base notes of chocolate and it's got floral top notes, just very, very beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I like to use my stick blender here to make sure I get that powder all mixed in. set this aside and we're gonna put we're gonna use this little flower mold I got from Michaels and we're gonna line it with some pink rose petals just a little bit down on the bottom this is just for decoration in your solid lotion so lots of you know that I have um, launched my Patreon page and it's going very well and I wanted to say thank you so much to the people who have already pledged and become patrons. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, you can head on over there and get some recipes and tutorials. And this recipe that I'm demonstrating today will also be available on my Patreon page for you to take a look at and purchase if you like. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, just a little bit. So we're just gonna pour a little bit down at the bottom and make sure that those rose petals stick. If you don't glue them down to the bottom, they will float to the back of the bar and we kinda of want them on the top, the front part of the bar here. So we're gonna give those a second to just kind of set up. And actually I have my spoon out. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure all the rose petals stay wet. See that they're covered. All right, as you can see, that is starting to set up quickly. 
and then when that sets up we will go ahead and pour the rest of the mixture over the top I'll bring you back when we're ready to do that all right we're ready to go ahead and pour the rest of this mixture over the top Okay, we're gonna give those overnight to set up and then um, I'll bring you back when we're ready to unmold them and I'll also show you, oops, how I package these. Okay, I went ahead and I took these out of the mold and I packaged two of them off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I package these and this is how they turned out. They just turned out so cute and they smell really good, really, really warm, subtle fragrance. Um, one of the great things about solid lotions is they do not use any plastic for packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I package mine. I'm gonna go ahead and show you two different ways to do this. So the first way I'm gonna show you is using a coffee filter. So I actually use two coffee filters when I do this, um, but I first wanna punch out my tags. So I went ahead and I printed off a sheet of my tags in a two and a half inch circle template um, on onlinelabels.com. And then I have a two and a half inch uh, punch that I come in here and I just line it up this way. And I have to go upside down so I can see the picture of what I'm doing. So I just put my punch in upside down so I can see exactly where I'm making my cut. And I punch it out. And there's the first label. And then the second one. Okay, so we've got two labels printed off. And then I take a little hole punch and I put a hole right on the top center of the tag. Now the tag includes my logo, it includes the name of the product, and because this is a leave-on product, you do have to list all the ingredients. So underneath I have all my ingredients listed, and I've got my logo, and I've got the name of the product down here. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your coffee filter. I use two coffee filters for this method, and this is what I do. I take my first lotion bar, and I use two because lotion bars can be a little bit um, greasy to the touch. And so I don't like that oil spots to show through. So I use two. So I just fold it over this way. I just kind of close it on itself on the top of the bar. And then I put the top of the bar down in the middle of the second coffee filter and I fold it on itself again. So the top looks like this. So then I use a little piece of washi tape and I secure the back with my decorative tape like this. So I'm gonna put a line going this way And you can get real fancy. With these tapes, there's so many different designs you could use. So many cute little 
washi tape design. So then I make an X on the back like this to secure it. And then I use Baker's twine. So I'm using a black and white uh, Baker's twine, twine with this one. And all I do is I cut a piece off and I go this way. So now my bar is upside down. And I go like this so that I'm making the two pieces of string cross over and go this way. And then I'm gonna to come to the top this way and tie my first knot. Then I'm gonna tie another knot to secure it. Okay. Then I take my tag and I put it through and I make another knot. So that's a total of three knots. And I just secure it like that and then I make a bow. my edges and that's the first way that's way number one now I like kind of an oversized tag of course you can do this how you want but this is what the bottom ends up looking like and this is what the top ends up looking like and then the second way is to use some deli paper so I have just a big stack of deli paper um, you can get this at any uh, probably store that sells food supplies. Um, this came from my local Smart and Final. So these are 10 inch by 10.75 inch sheets. So I just pull it out and I get one sheet. And this time, because I'm only using one sheet, and this is grease proof paper, so you shouldn't see any of those oil spots on it, but since these melt on contact, you wanna get them wrapped fairly quickly, but they are very smooth and they've been working really good. So we go ahead and we just put it down, face down like that, and then I'm going to just kind of fold it in. We look like that set it down and then I'm going to use a different tape for this one this one's going to be a little bit different because it looks like it's going to need to be secured this way so I just put a piece of tape there to secure it shut and I'll put another one And then we're just gonna crisscross it this way and secure it right here. So now I've got a piece of decorative tape right here. It's really cute with the white jelly paper. So then I take my same black and white twine and we're just gonna do the same thing. This is just Baker's twine. Um, you can get it at paper supply companies or craft stores or online. So I am going to turn my bar over again and do the same thing. Make a crisscross on the back. Turn it this way. Make two knots. and make your third knot and then 
your bow if you want a bow. You don't have to put a bow, but I always think it looks nice and finished with a bow. And there's your second bar all wrapped up and nothing is going to seep through this um, wax proof paper and it just looks really elegant and finished and it doesn't use any plastic. These lotion bars will be available for purchase on my website. If you would like to purchase the recipe and make them yourself, you can head on over to my Patreon page by clicking on the icon in the top right hand corner of your screen or you can click on the link in the description box. I'll put a link in the description box for you as well and that recipe will be there for purchase. Thanks so much. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.